Thumbnail. Welcome to episode three of my Futurama stuff. Universe X squared. Kid robot keychains. 24 keychains. Back of the box, you can see all the figures. The other side of the box and the front. This is the back. It says Futurama Universe X squared. Yeah, so that's what this display box looks like when it's in the store. Here are all the tiny little boxes on the inside. That is tiny. The front of the box is of Leela. The side shows half the characters. The back's fry. Other side's the other half the characters. Bottom, some mumbo jumbo. And the top with the Universe X squared logo. All the boxes here are like backwards. Designed with love. Love for money. Let's see what's in box number one. So who do you think's gonna be in here, guys? Goldbender or Space Nibbler? Ha! <laughs> oh my god, it's Goldbender! What? What? Oh lord, came down from the heavens and blessed thee with the Goldbendery! <laughs> so I'm not sure how rare Goldbender is, but I just opened him in my first box. So these keychains have a little hook here. Remove the key part. And you can also hook this on anything else that you want. So believe it or not, I got the gold benderoni. Ah! Box number two. Space Nibbler. <laughs> oh, alternate universe fry. Whoa. With tape on his head. Just like calm down. Oh, Blue Zoinberg. Whoop, 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 whoop. Regular fry. Mm, mm. No doubles, no doubles, no bubbles. Lee Law. Ah! Stand up, stand up, stand up. Box six, alternate universe Lee. Box number seven, regular Zoidberg. I forgot he was a thing. Is he a thing? Yeah, regular Zoidberg is a thing. People only care about, you know, the blue one. So we have seven of them so far. That's half of them, because there's 14. That's pretty good. That means I might get a whole set here. Regularly, our first double. Wah, wah, wah. Doubles will be banished to this side. It's not like the double is worth anything less. They're just like the second child, you know what I mean? So box uh, number nine. Second alternate Zoidberg. Another regular Zoidberg. Regular Fry. I think it's gonna be a new one. Old Leela. One more towards my collection. Oh no, a triple. Whoop, 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 whoop. Getting triples is gonna start being a problem because that means there's a chance I might not actually get a whole set in a box of 24. Ooh, lure, lure. Oh yeah. Nice, old fry. So I got both old fry and Leela. They're perfect. Nice, regular nibbler. A lot of these keychains are essentially re-releases of the first wave. Another old Lila. Now if only they released old farm. We're on to box number 18. Yes, metallic bender. You could tell he is very metallic -y. He could go right beside the gold one. He's not really gray, he's more of like a silver. A metallic silver. All I'm missing now is a Morbo and a Space Nibbler. Another alternate universe Leela. So this is a double. Five more boxes to go. Ah! Yes, Morbo. Ooh, it's a metallic Morbo. It's like his. All I'm missing now is a Space Nibbler. I have 13 of 14. Let's see if one of the last four boxes contains a Space Nibbler. Metallic Bender. Third last box. Just open it. Just open it already. Just open it. What it what what? Old fry. Boop, boop. Oldie pokey. There's two more boxes left. One of these need to be a space nibbler. Or I'm gonna lose my freaking mind! Alternate universe fry. So I do not have a triple of anyone except for fry. I've gotten doubles of a few of them. 
So that means that triple fry might have been the space nibbler. Unless he's in the last box. If this last box is space nibbler, that means the very first box I opened was one of the secret rares. And now the last box is gonna be the other secret rare. Come on. Come on. I'm not even gonna look at this. I'm just gonna just gonna drop it on the table. See, I, I have no idea what that is. Oh my god! It's the space nibbler! Oh, it's lure. It is not guaranteed to get an entire set if you buy an entire display box. Display box. I'm gonna blame you, Fry. One of these fries was supposed to be my secret nibbler. At least between the two, I've gotten a gold bender. And gold bender is about $10 more than space nibbler. So I'm gonna have to fork out about $30 just for a tiny little toy. Space nibbler. Here's all of them laid out on the table. And you guys better appreciate this shot because it took me forever to lay them all out like that. They would not stand. They would not stand straight. They would not even lie down properly. Then I realized you could just remove the keychain part from them. And if you don't believe me, there they are. All the keychain parts are right there. So. I'm letting you guys know in case any of you decide you want to display them by standing and not hanging off the keychain. Yeah, you can remove the keychain part and it will actually make them balance and stand properly. So you guys better be appreciating this. And if you're questioning my odd choice of order, I'm just doing the same order they appear on the box. So complaint kid robot, not me, okay? So here we have Fry with his nice orange hair. Red jacket, blue pants. Here on the feet, we have the logos for Kid Robot. Alternate universe fry with the regular fry. Black hair and green coat. And beige pants with the red shoes. So this is Leela with her alternate universe form. She has orange hair. A different shade of orange hair than Fry does. Lure is all brown, it's cool, he has a red cape. I think his eyes and teeth are painted with a matte textured paint that his uh, first series version, I don't recall, has. Now we have gold bender and metallic bender. You can see in the front how they look. This is how they look on the back. And you can see down here, gold bender has a nice shiny metal feet with the logos on it. And Zoidberg and his alternate universe, Zoidberg. This blue is actually a bit more purple. It looks a bit more purple than it does blue. And here's Morble. He's like a lime toxic green. Unfortunately, there's only one Nibbler by himself. Doesn't have his space buddy with him. Has a nice red cape. And you can see his diaper and the logos on his feet. And now here's old Fry and old Leela beside their regular self and their alternate universe self. I'm very glad that they made these old versions because I've not seen the old version of Fry and Leela released as any other toy. I think these are supposed to be wrinkle marks on Leela's arms. They kind of look like tattoos. You can see they're wearing the same outfit. Red shirt and blue pants for Fry and white shirt and black pants for Leela. Leela's hair is a bit bluish rather than gray. And she has this new streak of light blue, which I guess is supposed to be a lighter gray. Fry doesn't seem to have any. So there you have it folks, an entire box of 24 keychains opened and thrown together to make a pile of dead bodies. So that concludes the video of this episode 3. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know. If you didn't like this, then um... Bite my shiny metal ass!